police file charges against the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Senator Ademola Adeleke, accusing him of examination malpractice. But the case may have to wait as the presidency weighs in. Jimmy Agbaje declares to run in the Lagos State governorship race under the PDP platform come 2019. He's back in the race. Many thanks for joining everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Shimon Kimaloye in Lagos. Let's get straight to, to it, everyone. Jimmy Agbaje, who was the closest contender in the last governorship election in Lagos in 2015, says he will run in the next election under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Agbaje told John Lees on Wednesday that he's running for the position of Lagos State Governor and has obtained the PDP nomination from and also said that he has submitted the form back to the party. About the after the election hinted that he will not be recontesting, but now said he has so many people urging him to run again. And still in the build-up to the 2019 governorship election, the National Working Committee of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has approved the review of the timetable for the conduct of the party's 2018 primary elections as follows. 25th of September for presidential primary election, 29th of September for governorship primary election, 2nd of October for Senate primary elections, and 3rd October for House of Representatives primary elections. The 4th of October will be for the State House of Assembly primary election, while the 6th of October for National Convention. And well, let's give you some of the stories that we are following at this time. Youths in Osho State are tasking governorship candidates of all political parties to engage them as they demand accountability before, during and after the Saturday election. Drawn from across the state, the youth under the ages of Kimpak's development initiative are demanding that the incoming governor focuses on education, employment, health, agriculture and poverty alleviation when inaugurated after the September 22nd election. The All Progressive Congress APC in Osho State has raised an alarm that some electoral criminals have allegedly started a rigging technique to compromise the electronic card readers ahead of the 22nd September governorship election in the state. We are warning the operators on the field, the youth coppers and INEC, that they should be on, 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 on the guard. Meanwhile, the INEC rec in Osho State, Mr. Shegun Agbaje said nothing of such has happened and promised it would not. Security, perfect work of voters, for our staff, for our materials, has also been secured. So we are not going to have any problem. The rec commended Channel's Television for fairness in election reporting and said other media houses should emulate such professionalism. A former governor of Sokoto State and a presidential aspirant of the People's Democratic Party, Atahi Rubafarawa, has described as appalling the current state of the nation. He has also called the Nigerians to make the best choice among the crop of politicians jostling for various political offices. The country is sick because the leadership is sick. And we will not allow that to happen to continue. Ahead of the 2019 general elections, the national chairman of the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abga, is urging politicians not to lose faith in the Nigerian project, just we as he says he's confident that the, the nation will soon overcome all current challenges. According to him, Abga is doing everything possible to resolve all internal crises and also to prevent further crises which may arise before the general elections next year. The senator representing Yobe East, Senator Buka Ibrahim, has announced his withdrawal from the race for senator in the 2019 elections for the state governor, Ibrahim Gaydam. The senator says his decision to withdraw from the race is informed by his promise, which he made earlier, to never contest for the Senate if and when Governor Gaydam declares his interest to contest. The meeting also agrees to support the inspiration of the APC National Secretary, Mr. Malabuni, for the governorship position of the state.